Welcome to the Forex Analytics Analysis Page Tutorial. This is a short video guide to help you get acquainted with our platform. The Forex Analytics platform is currently comprised of two main pages, the Traffic Light page and the Analysis page. The Traffic Light page displays an overview of the vast amount of information incorporated in our product and the Analysis page, as the name suggests, is the page that hosts all our analysis, charts and the toolbox of important functions to assist traders. Additionally, it offers some extra functionality that is valued by most members of the trading community. Let us now go through it section by section and explain it in further detail. First and foremost, let us note that the Forex Analytics logo is a clickable link that will instantly teleport you from the analysis page to the traffic light page and vice versa. On the top right of the page is an area that displays your preferred name format, your selected avatar, the current date time, the user notifications icon presented with a bell, and the settings icon presented as a well. Clicking on the settings icon enables you to access the general settings menu, the billing settings menu, the home page, or to log out of Forex Analytics. When you click on the bell icon, you will be able to view and or delete your personal user notifications. On the top left of the screen and below the Forex Analytics logo, you will find the ticket drop-down menu. You can use it to click select any instrument on the drop-down menu or alternatively, you can type into the box which will autofill from the existing instrument list. On its right are the five traffic light icons which indicate each individual analysis short-term bias for the selected ticker and are color-coded. Red for bearish, yellow for neutral, green for bullish. Exactly next to them, you will find the short-term and long-term bias indicators for the selected instrument. The range of bias values is very bullish, bullish, neutral, bearish, very bearish, presented with an arrow that can point from vertically up to vertically down and varies in color. Please note that both the traffic light icons and the bias indicators are also present in the traffic light page. On the top right of the main page are the individual analysis tabs. You can navigate to the corresponding analysis within the ticker by clicking on any of them. Changing the analysis tab within a ticker affects the main text body of the analysis and the charts on its right. Below the ticker drop-down menu, are the name of the selected analysis tab and the timestamp indicating when it was last updated. Just underneath that lies the main text area where the analysis text for the selected ticker tab can be found. Certain keywords or key phrases are clickable links that transport you to their description in our education page. Exactly on its right is the area where the corresponding charts will be displayed. If there are more than one charts available for the selected analysis, you can access them by clicking on the equivalent chart tabs. A chart type title shows the particular chart's time frame. A red asterisk on the left of the chart name will indicate which is the most recent chart or charts. Finally, you can magnify any chart by clicking on it. From this screen, you have access to buttons that switch between multiple charts. Below the main text area is the key level section. This section contains seven key levels, specifically three support, three resistance and one bull bear line. These levels are shared among all analysis tabs for any specific ticker. A broken support level will show as red, a broken resistance level will show as green, a broken bull bear line will show as red or green depending on the nature of the line, bearish or bullish. Please note that the key levels are also present in the traffic light page. Exactly under the key level section lies the takeaways area. This is a brief summary for the ticker based on all the individual analysis tabs combined. The color of the takeaways header will change to reflect the short-term forex analytics bias for this ticker, red for bearish, orange for neutral, green for bullish. So to recap, 
The key levels and the takeaways are ticker specific but shared among all analysis tabs, while the main text area and the chart area sections are not only ticker but also analysis tab specific. There are two more areas of the analysis page that are left to discuss, both of which are auxiliary and have been built with the aim of providing additional information and extra functionality to the user. The first one is the update alert history section, which occupies the bottom left quadrant of the page and is divided in two columns. On the left column is the update history. Here is where all analysis updates are displayed in a reverse chronological order from the newest to the oldest. Each entry shows the ticker that the update belongs to, the update timestamp and which analysis it refers to. Clicking on the ticker name takes you to the analysis page with that ticker and macro analysis tab pre-selected. Clicking on the analysis description loads the page with that ticker and the particular analysis tab pre-selected. On the right column is the alert history. Here you can find all alerts and patterns in play that have been published. Alerts are also displayed in a reverse chronological order. Each entry shows the alert or pattern in play title and timestamp. Clicking on an alert displays a pop-up window at the bottom right of the page which lists all the analysis items that have been affected by this alert. Clicking on a pattern in play also displays a pop-up window at the bottom right of the page which contains all the pattern in play related information. Both columns provide the user with a magnifying glass. By clicking on the magnifying lens you can perform a search across all available updates or alerts. A search is cleared by clicking on the X icon at the top right. You can navigate through all available updates or alerts using the pagination icons at the bottom. The second auxiliary area is the Twitter, Calendar, News section, which occupies the right side of the page, starting below the charts. As the name suggests, this area is divided in three segments. The first one is the Twitter tab. This is a continuous Twitter feed which includes items based on your preferences. Please watch the settings tutorial for more information on that. Please note that Microsoft Edge web browsers are not compatible with the Twitter API and are therefore not able to display the Twitter feed. The second tab is the Calendar tab. This is a list of the day's major economic releases. All data is provided in real time by Ransquack. For each item, the following fields are displayed. Time. This is the release time for the particular economic release. Lock for location. Indicates the country location for the particular economic release. Event. Provides a description for the particular economic release. Act for actual is the actual published number for this economic release. EXP for expected displays the expected value for this economic release. PREV for previous shows the previous registered value for this economic release. And finally, IMPACT, which is the indicator of the relative importance of this economic release and can take three values, low, normal and high. You can choose to view today's or tomorrow's major economic releases by clicking on Today or Tomorrow buttons at the top of the calendar area. You can also filter one or more country locations and or impact levels using the provided buttons at the top of the calendar area. Locations can be selected by clicking on the checkboxes next to the corresponding country flags and impact by selecting or deselecting the low medium and high impact buttons. The third and final tab is the news tab. This is a list of important news items from around the world. All news items are provided in real time by Ransquack. For each record there are two items. On the left the description which is expandable if it doesn't fit within the predetermined area and on the right the timestamp which shows how long ago a news item was published. 